All right, everyone, it appears that the market is basically DOA. Today's selling was pretty persistent. Any bounce that we got in today looked very lame, very weak. And as far as I'm concerned, sticking a fork in it, we're done for now. But that being said, we have a lot of long positions that are holding above support levels. We need to raise our stops and be very vigilant with that tonight. Make sure that all your stops are at the lows of the most recent support. Do not let them crack that. If they do, you got to get out. There's enough weakness short term in this market that all signs point to lower prices on the intermediate term. We should at least expect to test the 200 day in the NASDAQ. But as you can see in the NASDAQ, uh, oscillators continue to roll over RSI, stochastics, TSV, MACD, closing below the 50 day moving average on strong volume. That changes this op this operational mode that we're in on this market to a sell signal. S&P 500 is still above the recent lows, but you know what? There's enough evidence that we want to completely roll over here. So this model is switching early to a sell signal because we have consistently failed to make new highs and cannot get anywhere. And the lack of leadership overall in the market is just something that we can't you know, quite ignore. So SP 500, you can keep it under a neutral, but basically I'm looking at this entire market right now as under a sell signal. The Dow Jones Industrial Average selling off below its 50-day moving average. You can see its oscillators are starting to roll over. Stochastics, RSI, TSV, MACD. The NYSE is still above. Overall, technically, this is in a neutral zone. But once again, the entire market models, I'm switching to an operational sell signal. The MACD, T TSV, Stochastics, RSI are all rolling over on the NYSE also. And then the Dow Jones Transportation Average, ugly. So we were able to re-break below the 200-day moving average, failed to retake the 50-day moving average, and now we're re-breaking down below the 200-day moving average. MACD, TSV, trying to re-roll back over. RSI, trying to re-move back down. And same with Stochastics. But overall... It also looks like that the Dow Jones transportation average is getting close to a death cross. That's when the 50 goes below the 200-day moving average. So this is definitely something we have to watch on. And the Russell 2000 continues to weaken. New lows, 1215 is below the 1220 previous close. You can see MACD and TSV is really starting to roll over now. Stochastics, yikes. RSI, yikes. Eventually we will bounce, obviously, but right now this index looks weak. Unfortunately, one of my hedges, TZA, I have four cells. I had four sell stops following the gains here, and the very first sell stop was below 1025. 1024 happened to be the low a day of the day, and today, once again, big up move. But so now that we're under a sell signal across the board, I'm going to quickly go for the full sells. FLT, full sell signal, I've already been taken out. Tnet full sell signal easier to see on an arithmetic chart overall it is rolling over you got a hilltop here so that is now a full sell signal with the closing below the 50 day moving average on heavy volume no need to confirm any more of these support breaks this this bounce attempt has been terrible with no accumulation and then gcap after earnings uh disappointed was able to get out at 960 my fill was around 961 so i actually got out near the high of the day but overall, once again, you know, another failure. And let's see how much did we lose there. Less than 5%. So not bad whatsoever. But GCAP's a fail. AFAM, closing below the 20-day moving average on very heavy volume with red VOP. That's a 50% sell. CVTI, closing below its most recent lows below the 50-day moving average on heavier volume. You can barely see. It's just above average. That is also a 50% sell. And the first sell signal since back here in January. So something to you know, consider. And then SWKS, we got an ad signal in it. It hasn't closed below 94.20 yet, but I don't need it to. The fact that it's already failed, the 50-day moving average is good enough, so I'm moving up that sell stop on that ad from 94.20 to 94.62. Now, as for new long positions, it's really short positions, but I do prefer to actually be long things and short stocks like AMCN is a weak one. iCloud after the two days, you know, these are all candidates. CYNI reversing, you know, these stocks you can always short if you can find shares to borrow. STRP rolling over, but overall, I like to prefer to um, operating the short side is difficult outside of intraday for me. Um, it's just a difficult game. I prefer early morning crashes or late day crashes after breaking key support or when a stock goes from green and then goes to red on the session after like being up huge like VLTC did 
on this day here, which happened to be its top. Open was green for the day, and then on huge volume reversal went red. Since then, it's top. So that's something that we like to look for. But as for going long, S Dow. S was S Dow was in my ETF scan and in my price volume BOP scan, which confirmed the ETF move. Um, everything. Let's go ahead and look at those indicators. You can see MACD, TSV, Stochastics, RSI is all trending higher. We are finding support. At this level, around 19 at multiple instances since the February move lower. So SDAO looks good to go. 2% in SDAO. BIS is retaking its 50-day moving average after a successful broke these lows here, 32.26. No, it didn't break them. It so found support there, 32.26 at 32.38. Was able to then retake the 50-day moving average today on a surge in volume with max green bop for the past five days. You can see MACD, TSV, RSI, and Stochastics are confirming the move. This stock was in the ETF scan and the BOP Max Green for five days scan. So 2% position in BIS. Once again, we don't risk much if we are wrong. And it's worthy to hedge our positions right now in the market because we're still about 60%, 55 to 60% long overall in our portfolio. So, you know. We need to go ahead and start hedging. And UVXY also want to get long some volatility. It looks like we're finally starting to get a little bit of fear that might want to come to the market. VIX is starting to upturn. UVXY pocket pivot point signal. Unfortunately, UVXY was not confirmed in the price volume BOP scan or in any other scan. So in, it's already a very volatile instrument anyway. So actually, I'm kind of happy that it wasn't, to be honest with you, because if it was, I'd still have to do 2% because rules are rules. And since we're now under sell condition, these stocks, these ETFs must be treated as we would treat a long position under a buy signal. So UVXY is a 1% position. We don't risk much more than probably 7.5% if we are wrong here. So we'll begin the hedges. But at the same time that we're doing all the hedges, we're still going to take high quality long signals. There was only one that I really wanted that we're not already long HIL but HIL is just not closing near enough the high of the day following the strong earnings the session before and as you can see from its old 52 week high there's still significant resistance around 25 percent and I was trying to think that hey man this is like MCGC a few days ago and I passed on it and it worked yeah well the difference is is MCGC was breaking out to new 52 week highs you can go back here to the beginning of May and see we're at new, brand new 52 week highs and then the very next day on that max green bop heavy volume surge it closed near the high of the day closing at 444 which is only one penny off the 445 high a day and while even though it was due to a buyout it still worked so my limit wouldn't have gotten hit anyway limit would have been 445 446 was the low a day the next day but HIL similar situation but still overhead resistance and it's closing too far off the high of the day intraday for me and with us now under sell signal I need everything to really line up now on the other hand RUBI a stock that we are already long from October and have a gain of 61 percent on whatever position we have remaining we got an ad signal back here but unfortunately back here we got knocked out a half of it we're getting another ad signal following strong earnings I guess it was either last night or this morning. I really don't care which when it was. I just care about the price action following it. Big intraday reversal on extremely strong volume. Big search and bop to a strong green level. Already a lot of accumulation on this chart. And in the most recent consolidation period here, there is almost no selling. So Ruby looks good. It's a 2% ad signal. The final cut loss is below 17.33. BIS, the final cut loss is below 32.38. UVXY, the final cut loss is below 948. And SDAO, the final cut loss, you can either use 1846 or do what I'm going to do and use 1834.